Hi everyone, again it's me, your math teacher Jello. For today's video, let's continue our discussion on how to solve problems involving mean and variance of probability distribution. This is actually part 2 of our previous video. Okay, without further ado, let's answer the two problems here. So number 1, example number 1, find the expected outcome when a die is rolled many times. So, in this case, expected outcome or expected value ang isolve natin dito. Okay, so to find the expected outcome, let us list down all the possible outcomes when a die is rolled. Diba? So, yung isang die, we have 6 numbers, right? So, therefore, yung outcomes nun ay 6, right? So, yung outcomes ito, ito yung gagamitin natin as your random variable x. Okay. And, diba, we have numbers 1 to 6 yon. So, 1... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Kasi, um, yung isang die, it has 6 numbers, right? So, we have possible 6 outcomes. Okay? And, if we're going to get the probability na ang lalabas ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, di ba we have 1 over 6? Kasi, ang total possible outcomes ay 6, right? So, Ang probability natin nun, or the P of X, na ang lalabas ay 1, ay 1 over 6. Tama? So, 1 over 6. Kasi, we have uh, 6 numbers, right? Okay. So, kung 2 naman, we have 2 over, uh, I mean, 1 over 6 pa rin. Okay, kasi same pa lang sila lahat. Okay. So, 1 over... 6 din yan. So, ibig sabihin lahat ay magkakaparehas. So, 1 over 6. Okay, next. So, kukunin natin yung um, expected outcome. So, meaning, imumultiply muna natin to. X times P of X. Ayan. So, we have X times P of X. So, ito yung uh, probability nila, corresponding probability, na kapag lumabas yung 1 ay 1 over 6, kapag number 2 naman ay 1 over 6 pa rin, 3, 1 over 6, so magkakapares lang sila hanggang 6. Okay? So, dito, multiply natin yung x times p of x. So, 1 times 1 over 6, we have 1 over 6. 2 times 1 over 6, we have 2 over 6. 3 times 1 over 6, so 3 over 6. 4 times 1 over 6, we have 4 over 6, and then 5 over 6, and 6 over 6, or equal to 1. Okay? So guys, dito, ang nahanap natin, find the expected outcome. Okay, so get the summation of this column. So ito ay summation of x times P of X. Ayan. Okay, pag pinag-add natin to guys. So, since uh, ito ay mga similar fractions, so, ang denominator natin ay 6 lang yan. Copy nyo lang yan. So, 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 4, 15, right? Plus 3, 18, 20, 21. So, 21 over 6 or 3.5 kapag dinivide natin yan, guys. Okay. So, therefore, when a die is rolled many times, the expected outcome is 3.5. Okay? Nasundan ba ako guys? Next example tayo, number 2. Edwin tosses an unbiased coin. He receives 50 pesos if a head appears. And he pays 30 pesos if a tail appears. Find the expected value and variance of his gain. So, dito guys, kung um, i-analyze natin yung given problem, uh, kapag nagtasign ng isang coin, di ba, we have two possible outcomes, right? So, head and tail. Tama ba? So, we have head and, of course, we have tail. Okay. Yung probability nun, of course, na ang lalabas ay head ay 0 0.5 or 1 half. Tama? Okay, so 1 half or 0 0.5. So, ganun din yung tail. So, 1 half 
or 0.5. So again, when we toss a coin, so we have two possible outcomes, so which are head or tail. And then yung corresponding probability nun guys ay 1 half or 0.5, no? Okay. So dito, as we analyze the problem, sabi dyan, he receives 50 pesos if a head appears. So meaning, yung head dyan, kapag yan ay lumabas, so meron siyang plus 50, right? And, and he pays 30 pesos if a tail appears. So, dito guys, ibig sabihin nabawasan siya kasi he pays. So, na, tama, nabawasan or magkakaroon tayo ng negative concept, right? So, negative 30. Okay, did you get my point? Kasi nagbigay siya ng 30 pesos. So, nab nawawalan siya, right? So, yung positive dito, ito yung tinatawag nating gain. And yung negative ay tinatawag nating loss. Okay? So, based on the problem above, so, uh, gawa tayo ng table. So, dito, we have random variable x. So, ano yung random variable x natin dyan? So, 50. Okay. So, positive 50 and negative 30. Okay. Based on the problem above. Okay. And then, of course, the corresponding probability. So, 450, syempre, yan ay 0.5 or 1 half. Ganun din sa negative 30, 0 0.5. Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, third column natin, kukunin natin yung expected value. So, which means, eto, si first at second, ipag-multiply. So, x times p of x. So, multiply natin yan guys. So, 50 times 0 0.5, the answer is 25. Right? And negative 30, Times 0 0.5, the answer is negative 15. Okay, next. So, ang gagawin natin dito guys ay kukunin natin yung summation. Tama? So, yung summation yan ay x times p of x. The answer is 25 plus negative 15. The answer is 10, right? Okay. Next. And then, Hahanapin natin yung variance. So, mag-add tayo ng another column. So, sa pinakahuli natin, we have x squared times p of x. So, again, paano natin sinasolve to? Una, square natin yung first column. Kaya, x squared yan. So, 50 times 50. Okay, square natin yon Yun nga yung sagot doon. And then, times p of x. Times 0 0.5. Okay, using our cycle, it will give us 1,250. So, same procedure tayo. So, negative 30 square times 0 0.5. So, it will give us 450. Okay, it's not yet done. Ang gagawin natin dyan, guys, get the summation of the last column. Summation ito, guys, ay x squared times p of x. And then, later kasi, guys, isa substitute natin yan. So, pag pinag, uh, total natin yan ay 1,700. Nasunod ba ako guys? Next. Hinahanap natin yung expected value and variance. So dito, yung A natin, so expected value. Yan. So we have the formula, right? So x times p of x. Ang sagot natin dito guys ay 10. Naintindihan? So, ang expected value na nagay niya ay 10. And for B, yung variance na tinatanong dito, we have the formula, di ba? So, sigma square is equal to summation of x squared times the probability of x is being subtracted by quality summation of x times the probability of x squared. Okay. So, dito guys, isasubstitute lang natin yan. So, ano yung value nito guys? Ito. Siyempre, 1,700. Okay. Minus. Ito guys, summation nito. 
which is 10 right. And square yan, do not forget. Okay. Next, simplify natin to guys. 1,700 minus, yan, 100. Kasi 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So, dito guys, the answer is 1,600. Okay. So, ito yung variance niya. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope na maroon kayo natutunan. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!